Hi everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share a few watercoloring products I purchased last month um, and maybe do a, uh, some swatches with them and then maybe even use them in a quick page for you. So I had seen that Jackson's Art Supply was having another sale on their Roman Schmalls watercolor and I have been really enjoying the the watercolors in the Carolina Kubakowska Magic Hour book, um, the pages the the paper is really thick, um, like a heavy cardstock. So, not watercolor paper, but um, it, it seems to to take the the water pretty well. So, uh, and I think the this brand um, some of the colors have just been really pretty. So anyway, I wanted to purchase a few more to add to my collection. So I bought uh, this is Buff titanium, uh, cobalt teal, nickel azo yellow, transparent brown, aquarius red, uh, this one is magenta, I know that, and then phthalo green blue shade. All right, um, and then I had also seen a couple watercolorists on YouTube, like swatching some of their favorite um, watercolors in like different shades. Um, and one of them swatched out this. This is uh, Royal Talons Van Gogh. I don't know if it's like a series or um, if they have different ones because I know they have Royal Talons, and then there's, I think there's something else, uh, not just Van Gogh. Um, uh, but anyway, so this one is called Dusk Green, and it's a very dark, like hunter green, kind of granulating green. So um, this one actually purchased off of Amazon, and it is quite a bit smaller. I guess this is like a half pan size. So anyway, we'll see how this one does in um, a coloring book. And then um, with Christmas coming and maybe wanting some more sparkle on my pages, I purchased a few of these. Um, these are by Fine Tech, the Calero Pearl Colors, kind of like metallic watercolors. Um, I wanted to do individual ones because I wanted to build my own palette. So I ended up getting one of these palettes. Uh, let's see, it looks like I can fit 12 colors in here. Um, and they were out of stock on a few of the colors that I wanted. So I didn't get all the colors yet that I want. But so I got Black Forest, uh, Chocolate, and I feel like they, they seem like they're like little candies wrapped up in a little package here. Uh, mermaid, rose gold, sterling silver, and phoenix because, you know, I live in Phoenix, so I had to get that one. <laughs> All right, and then I ended up buying a few watercolor brushes. Um, these are Betty Hayways. I got a size 7 and a size 1 to get in those little details. Um, but I, I didn't really have to get water brushes, but I mean, look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. Um, and these came from the Chelsea Paper Company in England. So yeah. All right. So that is my little haul. Um, but I will swatch these to music um, and then do a quick page. Um, I'll find a page in this magic hour here. And yeah, so I'll do that to music. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. Thanks.
Here's a closer look at the swatches now that they are all dry. I think it's interesting that some of these pick up different colors depending on the background paper. I really love that Phoenix color. It picks up pinks and golds. Um, and then that black forest is gorgeous also. I'm hoping you can see the subtle green and gold in the mermaid has in the right light. Uh, I can see it better off camera, but it's nice too. And I think my favorites in this set are the transparent brown and dusk green. yellow. I did not mean to start it off so heavy, but there it is, so I will be blending that out. Next I'm using the Royal Talons Dusk skin tone but I'm trying to use just the colors that I purchased this go round so I'm mixing buff titanium and transparent brown and I'm also using transparent brown for the swing seat and her hair For the berries, I'm using magenta and Aquarius red. For the leaves, I'm using the Azo yellow, which kind of blended in to the phthalo green, um, which made a nice chartreuse color. So yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with a mix of those colors. the outside edges using black forest. I'm using a combination of mermaid and phoenix. I'm trying to give it a sheer look because it looks like you can see her legs through the dress. So I did add a little bit of yellows and some greens too, so hopefully it will pick up those colors. Um, but I really want it to be kind of sparkly and shimmery with those pearlescent colors. chocolate into the stems and a little bit in her hair. Sorry I didn't record my final touches, which were just some color pencil shading in the leaves. I added some shades of orange and olive green blended with a chartreuse. 
some shading in the berries and in her skin and hair. I added some white paint splatters, which made it look kind of like a galaxy background, uh, which wasn't what I was going for, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, and then I added that sterling silver watercolor uh, for some shimmer, but I still felt like it needed a bit more sparkle. So I did add just a tiny bit of silver stickles for more fairy dust effect. I love how the dress shimmers and picks up the light. And I didn't use all my new colors, but I used a majority of them. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the page turned out. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoy. Bye for now.